And uh, they had very high ratings, and they took it off. That's something pretty unusual. But by, while leftist thugs are allowed to roam the streets, killing, looting, burning, raping, and pillaging, patriotic parents, Christians, conservatives, pro-life activists are being hounded by the FBI and the DOJ like terrorists. They're being treated so badly. They're allowed to spy on my campaign, and nothing happens. They're allowed to write up fake dossiers, send it around to everybody, and it turned out to be a total hoax. There was nothing true in it. It was done by the Democrats and crooked Hillary Clinton. But they persecuted us, and yet Joe Biden is a stone-cold criminal caught dead to right, and nothing happens to him. Forget the family, nothing happens to him. Yesterday, the press reported that millions and millions of dollars came into his family's bank accounts from China. Can you imagine if that were me? How would I do if that were? If China paid millions and millions, and you know, they had to describe the work. For Jim Comer, they wanted to describe the work. And uh, it didn't look too good because they had no idea why they got the money. They had no idea. Millions and millions of dollars coming in from China. The mainstream media didn't even pick up a tiny piece of that story. Can you believe it? You look at the mainstream media. They don't, they don't talk about it. They're right there. In fact, it was a very big... They don't talk about it. Amazing. You know, it's amazing because when I started, they had a very, very high popularity and approval rating. And now they're lower than Congress. Lower than, I'm very proud of that. I've, I've exposed. But they were never like this. Now they're deranged. They're, and not all of them. I'd say 10% of them are OK, right? But the 10% has, have a very hard time. They have a very hard time. And nobody can understand why a media would be against things where we want good education for our children, where we want, uh, where we want real strong military, where we want low taxes and low regulations and good schools and good all. It's, it's just a, a crazy thing that they fight against. And uh, for some reason, the radical left, I don't even think they know what they're doing. I think they're probably, they have so much hatred for our side. They don't want to listen to the issues. They don't want to listen to the policy. But it's a very strange thing. You know, we had more requests today, over 500 requests for media. And I said, that's nice. But uh, probably by this point, <laughs> about 90 percent of them. I think those red lights have gone off about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> I watch it. You know, CNN, which has the lowest ratings in their history because they're fake news. Anybody that has to hire Don Lemon has to be fake news. Don Lemon. You ever watch the thing? He fails in prime time, so they move him to the morning at a ridiculous salary, right? They probably paid him more. Why do they do that? Why don't they just hire somebody new? He can only do better. They should hire Matt Gates. Would you like to get him? The weaponization of our justice system is not, as some have called it, a political spectacle. This is the central issue of our time. I think it's one of the biggest issues. And by the way, nobody called out China like Donald Trump. Nobody called out Russia like Donald Trump. And they want to know. Remember when they said, oh, he's soft on Russia. Putin said to me, if you're soft, I'd hate like hell to see you when you're tough. I called off. Remember, I ended Nord Stream 2. Nobody in this audience, nobody in Washington ever heard of Nord Stream 2. That's the pipeline. I ended the pipeline. I gave them hundreds and hundreds of javelins, whereas Obama gave them pillows. Maybe they got them from Mike Lindell. Did they buy it from you? Mike, I hope they didn't. You'll be under investigation tomorrow. No, they gave them pillows and sheets. I gave them javelins. And then they said, and you saw what those javelins did to their tanks. That wasn't pretty. But that was me that gave it to them. And then they say, Trump was soft. I saw it the other day. Some idiot was saying, Trump was actually soft on Russia. I ended, you know, I ended Nord Stream 2. The pipeline was done. 
And one of the first things that Biden did when he came back, and this is the biggest thing, that is the biggest development they've ever done. That was economic development. That was massive money. This was a pipeline going to Germany and all of Europe, spread all over Europe. I ended it. And I told Europe, if you aren't going to go along with me, then I'm not going to do any business because Europe is almost as bad as China having to do with trade. A lot of us come from Europe indirectly, directly and indirectly. So we love Europe, but they rip us off just like everybody. And I was very worried yesterday when I watched in Canada, Joe Biden talking about different deals they're making with Canada. I dealt with Trudeau and I dealt with some of his people. They treat us horribly on trade. And I'm watching these different deals that they're announcing. They are horrible, horrible deals for our country. They're great for Canada, but horrible, horrible deals for our country. But the destruction of the rule of law is a tremendous threat to Western civilization. And I say, I was asked the other day, and I took a little heat for it. They said, who's our biggest threat? Is it China, sir? Or is it Russia? I said, no, our biggest threat are high-level politicians that work in the United States government, like Mitch McConnell, Nancy Pelosi, Schumer, Biden, Justice Department, because that's poisoning our country. I can do things with China. I made the greatest trade deal in history with China. I don't even talk about it, because sometime after that, fairly shortly, what happened with COVID, it was like, I didn't want to talk about a trade deal because no trade deal you make is it going to ever. 50 billion, $50 trillion worldwide, think of it, trillion. $50 trillion is the damage done. China doesn't have anywhere near that money. Nobody has anywhere near that money. The damage they did, so I don't talk about it. But I had a great relationship with China. We put massive tariffs. We took hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars out of China. No other president took anything out of China, not 10 cents. But the only way to stop these arsonists, and that's what they are as arsonists, and I really do believe, and they'll go right and say, oh, Trump likes China more than he likes crazy Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> but in many ways, these sick people are more of a threat because we can deal with China. I was beating China so badly, nobody's ever seen. We were lapping them. And then COVID came in, we had to go back, we did a great job. And when we unfortunately had to give up what we were doing, very sad, very sad, sad day for everybody in this audience and for, frankly, most of the country, because we were doing so well. But the stock market was actually higher than it was just days before COVID was something that nobody ever saw came into our country. So we did a, we really rebuilt it twice. But if you go back to those earlier days, which wasn't that long ago, we had a country the likes of which nobody has ever done before. And China wasn't a threat. China was actually in deep trouble because we had all the power. We had this economic power that was used very judiciously. But we were winning, and we were winning big. The problem is in China, the problem is stupid people that have to deal with China. That's the problem, and that's what we have.